Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be making acoustic tiles I have in the background. So to start, let's make a new Blender file. And let's delete everything in our scene. Now let's add in a math function as an XYZ math surface. And you'll see this uh, squiggly thing. And now let's open up the tab close out all the equations we do not need these right now and let's say we want our tile to be a square ranging from 0 to 2 pi so 2 times pi 2 times pi there we go and let's say our x is going to be u and our z is going to be v and now with our y equation we're going to be taking the cosine of u okay and that will give us 1 oscillation as you can see you might also see there is a plane on the back of your uh oscillation and that's because you have u rep on you want to make sure that that's turned off now you want to be able to change the oscillations and um how high the oscillations get uh using these helper functions so let's say our a helper function might be um the height of each oscillation so 0.2 and then our B might be just how many oscillations we want to have. So let's say maybe 10. Now all we need to do is just plug this in. So to do that, we're going to be having, we multiply U by the number of oscillations we want. In our case, it's going to be B, also known as 10. And then we multiply the entire thing by A, which is going to be like the magnitude of the oscillations. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Wow, that looks pretty nice. Now let's decrease the V steps to one and then increase the U steps to 128. Now that looks like a cool tile. Now we want to move the 3D cursor from 000 to the center of our tile. So to do that, shift S, cursor to selected. Now we want to get out of edit mode, go to object and then set origin to our 3D cursor. Now we want to add in, um, Something called an empty, and then let's say arrows. So an empty is an object that you can interact with, but won't appear in the final render. So let's open back up our tile, and then go to our um, um, uh, modifiers tab. And let's add in a new modifier. This modifier, let's make it an array modifier. Okay, let's make a object offset, and let's uh, choose our empty as our object offset. Let's make four of these uh, tiles, maybe make them 1.1 apart. And now let's go to our empty, rotate it um, on the Y axis by 90 degrees. There you go, then now that looks like a square of tiles. Now we want to select um, our tiles again, and now close this modifier, like make it smaller, minimize, and then add in another array modifier. This array modifier is going to be going left and right. So let's make it have six, right, I guess. And then let's make the offset 1.2. Looks pretty good. Okay, let's zoom out so that it fits and then from this view. Okay, this view. There you go. And now we want to add another array modifier. And this one is going to be going up and down. So let's make uh, four of these. And then let's make the X zero. And then we want our Z to go up. And let's say 1.2 upwards. Now these are our tiles. So you might notice that in my background, there's not only tiles. There's also these red light strips. Um, you might see those. So now we want to also make those light strips in this design. So to do that, uh, let's hide our empty and our x, y, z max math function and add in a mesh and cylinder. Let's zoom into this cylinder. Oopsie. Zoom into the cylinder. And now we want the depth of the cylinder to be, let's say, 20. Okay. And let's make the radius 0 0.5 because we do not want the cylinder to be bigger than the difference between the tiles. Okay, now let's bevel um, the edge ring on the top. And to do this, let's switch to edit mode, go to edge select, and then select the edge ring by holding alt. 
and then selecting uh, edge on the top. There you go. Now that we selected the edge ring, we want to go to edge, bevel edges, and then just left click anywhere. We want, let's say, a bevel of 0 0.3 and maybe five subdivisions. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Now let's go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, let's um, let's hold down Alt and select this edge ring. Go to edge, bevel edges, and left click. Make sure the offset is 0 0.3 and the segment should still be five. Okay, now let's um, from this way. And let's unhide the empty and XYZ math function. Now, you want to um, rotate this on the y-axis, 90 degrees, that's horizontal. Now, you want to make sure that you apply the transformations. So, to do this, just do Control a and then all transformations. Pretty cool. Now, uh, let's just position it. So, let's just put it very accurately. So, that's G, X, on the X-axis, G, um, Z, move it upwards a bit. Move it there. Now we want to scale it inwards. So S, X, scale that in. Uh, G, X, there we go. That looks pretty good. Now you might notice that's a tad bit too thick. So let's uh, make it more skinny. So to do this, let's do S and then Shift X. That's basically meaning no 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 we do not want you to also shrink x we only want y and z the y and z to shrink on the cylinder so let's just there you go looks pretty good now we want to add in a ray modifier so let's add in an array modifier in this one let's add six because that's the amount of that's the amount of um that's the amount of tiles we have on the right direction. So uh, now we want to hold down shift and then move this. Shift basically slows it down. Okay. Okay, it's not the most accurate, but he'll be good enough. Okay, now we want to add in an another ray, array modifier, and this time we want the array modifier to go upward. So let's add in the modifier. There we go, and let's make it go four up, since that's the amount that we have upwards. Let's make the X zero, and then let's edit the Z, which is up and down. There we go. So let's zoom in and get this right. So let's look right here. Zoom in, hold down shift, and maybe make this in a way that you like it. There we go. Okay, let's actually edit this X modifier. We want this to be a little bit more exact. So 1.25, uh, 1.225. Oh, 1.226. 1.228. Yeah, that, that, that'll be good enough, okay? We don't need perfect here but if you want yours to look perfect and professional feel free to take more time uh, making it align okay now let's add in an hdri stands for high dynamic range image and you could get an hdri by going to hdri haven com. and now we go to hdris let's say we want um, a studio hdri which studio hdri looks good Hmm. Let's choose this one. It looks pretty good. So you download it as whatever resolution you want. I'd recommend 4K, but because that's what I'm going to be using. So just download your HDRI. Now you go to Blender and then go to your scene and world. Then here you're going to be seeing this surface and then background. We want to change this background to an emission. And then change the color from a color to an environment texture. And then open up our texture which could be found in wherever you downloaded it to so open that up okay let's take a look at how bright it is and how good it looks so you might notice that there's like this background and that's actually the background of the hdri so to hide that we just go to our scene film and turn on transparent looks pretty good okay 
time to do materials okay so let's do uh, our light strips first okay so let's go to the materials tab make a new material on this one we want it to be an emission because it's emitting light let's make it a red emission okay now we want to do our tile um, so let's add the plus new and let's add in maybe a grayish kind of color um, so if we go into rendered view you might notice that um, if you turn off your um, gizmos or your overlays, it will look kind of shiny and we don't want it to look shiny. So to make it not shiny, you could turn down this thing that says specular. Turn it all the way down. At least I would like it like this. And let's make, make it a tad bit more dark like this. Looks pretty good. Okay, now it's time for camera. So this camera is going to be the point of view where it's going to be rendering the image. So to add in a camera, just shift A, like you're adding in like a cube or something. And then you're going to see this button that says camera. So click that. Um, and now you want to click N. Uh, make sure the camera selected N. And then go to view. Lock camera to view. And then let's go into camera view. It's going to be in a absurd location that you do not like it to be. So just maneuver it around until it fits what you like. Looks pretty good. Now let's render out our image. So just click render and then render image. There you go. Looks really good. This one actually turned out extremely good. So now that's how you make my tiles. If the light, if the light emitting from the um, light bars, I'm just gonna call it that, is too great, you could uh, decrease that by going into turn on. Let's go back into regular view. If we go back into rendered view. If we go to cylinder, we could turn down the strength until it suits your preference. Maybe like 0 0.6, maybe. And then click render, render image. There you go. That's probably better. I like it more this way. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire tutorial. Um, next tutorial, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably gonna be the bottles, I think. So yeah, look forward to that. Um, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to subscribe, maybe even share the video with your friends. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.